Welcome back. If you're in a relationship and it leaves you feeling like you're dating or married to a teenager, listen up. We're joined now by Dr. Bill Baker, who is a licensed family and marriage therapist, and he's going to help us sort out narcissistic relationships. Welcome. Well, thank you. Glad to be here. Well, tell us first, what exactly is narcissism? Ebony, the, the term narcissism refers back to Greek mythology, to Narcissus, uh, a handsome young man who fell in love with his own reflection in a lake. Hmm. Now, today we use the term to describe an unhealthy personality pattern characterized by excessive self-love and self-service. And we can discern the pattern by his sense of entitlement. Because he feels entitled to every form of happiness, he's willing to use and even abuse other people. Hmm. In other words, he will dominate, manipulate, intimidate, whatever it takes to satisfy his, his selfish agenda. And uh, I guess when you're in a relationship with one of these type of people, uh, what can you do? I mean, you know that they're all about them, but how do you deal with that? It's a very tough situation. The best advice, frankly, is never get involved with a narcissist. Uh, that's the best advice. Uh, the narcissistic agenda is clear. It's all about me. In relationships, the agenda tends to revolve around the phrase, my ultimate gain. Now, the first letters of those three words, my ultimate gain, spells spell mug, M-U-G, mm -hmm. and that's what it's like. Mm -hmm. In relationships, we get mugged frequently, <laughs> physically and or emotionally. Uh -huh. In other words, the narcissist will do whatever it takes to get his way at our expense. Narcissistic relationships are well, just inherently unhealthy and definitely difficult, and they almost always lead to disaster unless significant changes are made. Now, we talked about dating and being married to someone, so you can walk away from that, but what if it's someone that you work with and you have to be with this person every single day. Well, that becomes a very difficult kind of thing. We have to uh, choose our battles very, very carefully, and usually we have to lower our expectations. Uh, we hope that change will occur, but, well, frankly, most narcissists are not interested in change because they're just perfect the way they are. Mm -hmm. However, they do need a major makeover, which I believe involves at least two things. Okay. First, they must choose to decrease their selfishness by the development of better attitudes about themselves and other people. And secondly, they need to change their behavior in terms of developing a lifestyle of service toward other people. That would be a dramatic change for a lot of narcissists, I would oh, think. Oh, definitely. Okay, so basically, if you're in one of those relationships, walk away or don't expect much. And for the narcissist, what can they do? Well, usually, if, if a narcissist is deeply entrenched in that and wants to change, uh, professional therapy can be a great help to that person and also to family members who try to live with a narcissist. Trying to go through life on a journey with a narcissist <laughs> is a very tough road to travel. You're going through as an extra all the time. All right, how can people get in touch with you? They can just contact me at Grayson Associates at my office here in Birmingham. All right, more information at GraysonMentalHealth.com. Dr. Baker, always good to see you. Thank you, Ebony. I'm so glad to be back.